गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम अगेन बैक विथ केमिकल कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड इंटीग्रेशन पार्ट टू ऑफ एलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पीनल ग्लैंड थायरवाइड ग्लैंड पैराथायरवाइड ग्लैंड एंड थायमस ग्लैंड सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द सेशन फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पीनल ग्लैंड पीनल ग्लैंड ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम एक्टोडर्म ऑफ इम्ब्रियो एंड इज लोकेटेड ऑन द डॉर्सल साइड ऑफ फोर ग्रेन it is very small reddish gray vascular and conical solid body the hormone secreted by pineal gland is melatonin melatonin plays an important role in the regulation of a 24 hour that is diurnal rhythm of our body for example it helps in regulating sleep wake up cycle besides this it salt it also helps in body maintaining body temperature metabolism of body pigmentation menstruation cycle in female and also our defense capability in the given figure you may locate the position of pineal gland now the next endocrine gland is thyroid gland which originates from endoderm of embryo and is located on the either side of trachea as far as structure of thyroid gland is concerned it is the largest gland it is a bilobed highly vascular organ the two lobes of thyroid glands are connected by a normal band called as isthmus it is composed of rounded follicles held together by loose connective tissue called a stroma and enclosed by a thin fibroelastic capsule the stroma contains blood capillaries and small groups of para folliculars or c cells also called as clear cells thyroid gland secretes two main hormones and these hormones are iodinated hormone why the hormone secreted by thyroid gland is called iodinated because for the secretion iodine is required the two iodinated hormones are thyroxine or tetra iodo thyronine called as t4 and tri iodo thyronine called as t3 these two hormones helps in regulation of basal metabolic rate support the process of rbc formation helps in controlling the metabolism of carbohydrate fats and proteins hormone secreted by thyroid gland also helps in maintaining water and electrolyte in our body besides these two hormones thyroid gland also secretes a protein hormone called thyrocalcitonin tct that helps in regulation of blood calcium level in our body now let us see what are disorders which are caused due to not proper functioning of thyroid gland first is hypothyroidism in hypothyroidism there is enlargement of thyroid gland due to deficiency of iodine in our duct this disorder is called as goiter if a pregnant lady is suffering from hypothyroidism then her growing baby may lead to cretinism mental retardation low intelligence quotient abnormal skin and deep mutism hypothyroidism may causes irregular menstruation cycle in adult women also next disorder is hyperthyroidism which is due to over activity of thyroid gland hyperthyroidism may be due to cancer of thyroid gland or due to development of nodules of the thyroid glands 
due to this a considerable increase in glucose and oxygen consumption by cells and the rate of oxidative metabolism in the mitochondria in the given figure you may observe the thyroid gland which is present on both side of trachea now let us discuss about another endocrine gland that is parathyroid gland parathyroid gland also originate from endoderm of embryo and they are located on the back side of thyroid gland there are four parathyroid glands which are small flat and oval glands present on each side of thyroid gland the hormone secreted by parathyroid gland is called parathyroid hormone or pth and the regulation of this hormone is by circulating levels of calcium ions so its main function is to increase the calcium ion in the blood parathyroid hormones also stimulates the process of bone reabsorption it also helps in reabsorption of calcium ions by the renal tubules and helps in increasing calcium ions absorption from the digested food parathyroid hormone uh is a hypercalcemic hormone it helps in maintaining calcium balance in the body along with thyrocalcitonin hormone which is secreted by thyroid gland now let us see the disorders caused by irregularities of hormone secreted by parathyroid gland there are two disorders they are again hypoparathyroidism and hyperparathyroidism in hypoparathyroidism there is hyposecretion of parathyroid hormone which lowers the concentration of calcium ion in the blood and also in the tissue due to excretion of calcium in urine and leads to parathyroid tetany whereas in hyperparathyroidism there is hypersecretion of parathyroid hormone which draws more calcium from the bones and leads to osteoporosis in the given figure you may observe four parathyroid glands you can see here it is present on the back side of the thyroid gland now the next endocrine gland is thymus gland which originates from endoderm of embryo thymus is located on the dorsal side of heart and aorta thymus is a lobular structure and is a soft pinkish bilobed mass of lymphoid tissue the hormone secreted by thymus is thymosins thymosins helps in accelerating cell division so influence the rate of growth during early life thymosins also stimulates the development and differentiation of t lymphocytes that is thymus lymphocytes and helps in increasing resistance to infection it also provide humoral immunity humoral immunity means production of antibodies and also cell mediated immunity cell mediated immunity means activation of phagocytes antigen specific cytotoxic t lymphocytes here you can locate the thymus gland and observe it so this is all about today's session thank you for any kind of doubts please write your questions in comment section